Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video today, we're gonna to be doing a 10 second review video. I've been doing these very, very often on my channel. Basically, I'm taking some products from my collection that I haven't reviewed as of lately, giving you guys kind of a speed reviews on everything really quick, what my thoughts are on everything, how pigmented they are, are they long wearing? Um, and these products are usually very affordable. So all of these products are drugstore makeup. So if you wanna see what products I chose and my thoughts on everything, just keep on watching. But before that, don't forget, if you like drugstore makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And if you could like the video, if you like it, and the video's gonna start right now. So we're gonna start off like in the order that I do my makeup. So first off, I go in with brows. So I have a couple of She Glam products in this video as well, as well as some like Chamise products. Um, first off, we have the She Glam. This is their brow pencil and it comes with a brow gel as well. I really like the brow gel side. I think it's really nice, really easy to work with and it is like a nice little small spoolie. So it's really easy to get in there. The only thing about this product is that it's gray on my eyebrows. I've used this in a full face of She Glam makeup that I uploaded a couple months ago. I'll have that down below if you wanna watch. I did purchase a couple new products from She Glam. So we are gonna have a couple new videos here on the channel. They just came out with a whole like Halloween collection, which I ordered, which is really exciting. They have a little like um, ghost sponge as well of their own. And they, they're just coming out with so many great products. However, this product here was just a fail for me. I didn't really enjoy it. Now the pencil side is, like I like these kind of products. It reminds me of the LA Colors Browy Wowie kind of shape, which I really enjoy. However, the shade is so gray on my eyebrows. It's just not cute. And I don't know, I feel like this product here is very stiff and very dry, which I don't really enjoy. It just looks so gray. I don't like the shade, I don't like the formula, it's really drying, and it does pull off your brow hairs if you get too close or whatever. It's just not a good product. I don't recommend this one. They added a couple new brow products to their website, which I recommend you check out or look into because they just look like a better kind of formula. I do like the fact that it comes with a brow gel. I think that's very convenient, but then it doesn't come with a spoolie. So on one end, it's okay. I just, even if it was like my perfect shade I just don't like the formula it's really waxy and again it pulls out your brow hairs which we definitely don't want yeah so overall I just wasn't the biggest fan of the she glam brow pencil next we have another she glam product which is their um, eyeshadow primer this product here this is called their ready set primer I believe I used this one in that same she glam video and this is really interesting it reminds me of the urban decay um, shadow that primer shadow situation that everybody was obsessed with I believe it was called their shadow potion or something it's like the type of formula that you throw on it kind of blends into your lid like it doesn't add any type of color and for me i don't really like that because i have veininess on my lips what i have veininess on my lid so i need something that has pigmentation also something that does something extra i don't know i feel like this didn't really do anything it didn't really impress me i felt like the shadows blended okay like the same as with any other shadow primer that I go in with. So it wasn't anything impressive. So I kind of regret purchasing this, but at the same time, I'm glad that I tried it out. But I just don't like that it has like literally no pigmentation to it. It's not even tacky. It doesn't really do anything for me. So that's why it was also another fail. I swear I have products in here that I like, but we're going in with a couple fails in just the beginning of this video. We do have a metamorphosis product in here. I have two of them. I have one that's a um, fave and I also have a fail, which is this liner it's just so dry i don't know if i got a bad one this is the happy hippo eyeliner it was part of my shaw my stash a couple months ago i believe um and it's just nice like i like that at first but it does dry out rather quickly and honestly the stamp side i didn't really use but this side here with like the liner it's really pigmented right but while you're doing your liner like in the middle of the application it does kind of dry out and you can't even like shake it because it just doesn't really do anything to it so i don't know it's just really unpredictable and it just kind of runs out of pigment in the middle of your liner which is really annoying i feel like the other side is really cute it is pretty deep black it's nice um it's a cute product it's just not one that i really recommend you check out they have so many other products that work rather well on their website that are so affordable but their liner honestly i'd say skip out on okay we're getting into the good products so we have a couple of ellie colors liners here i have some lip liners oh gosh i have some lip liners i have used in a couple of videos i have their um, gel eyeliner so let me see so i'd say let me start off with their lip liners i have a couple other shades in my collection but just to show you guys, this is how they look. They just look like a standard kind of liner. I really like the formula of these. 
However, I don't really like them for like my lips. I've used um, both of them actually in my waterline and they work really well. They're really pigmented and they're so easy to sharpen if you have like the right sharpener. They're just so pigmented, really beautiful. So I much rather use these as eyeliners than lip liners. These are not really shades that I would use on my lips. Like that one is just a little too bright, but on the waterline, it looks so beautiful. This shade I have used in a video before and it's really nice. It's just, I don't know, it's a little overly pigmented for lips. I just feel like it kind of frays out. I don't know. I don't know. I like them more as an eyeliner, which brings me to these. These are really nice, also really pigmented. As you can see, that shade there is stunning. They have some like glittery ones. That one's so beautiful as well. I have like the neon kind of shade. So this like blue tone is stunning. Any shade that you choose in the gel liners, I definitely recommend. They're so pigmented, really easy to sharpen. Um, especially if you're using the sharpener from Chamisay, it works so well. And these are just so stunning, so pigmented, so beautiful for, for any type of look that you're going for. The lip liners, I'd say skip out on, but if you're looking for um, gel eyeliners, definitely look into the ones from LA Colors. And they're only like $350 or something on the site. So inexpensive and so good. Next, we're talking about a mascara, and this is the um, ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. I have to say, this has been quickly become one of my favorite mascaras for work. I just feel like it just goes on so quickly. Whenever I'm running late for work or whatever, if I wake up late, you you know sleep in or whatever i throw this on and it's so quick and easy it gives me volume it gives me the length that i desire it's just such an easy product to throw on it's so perfect for those no makeup makeup looks or whatever it's perfect for no makeup kind of looks you won't just want to throw on some mascara it's just so beautiful it's such a beautiful formula i really like the wand as well i think it's a really nice product and the formula is just so amazing i really like it i'm definitely going to repurchase but i find myself reaching for this product more than my other mascaras it's just so quick and easy it just gives me the length and the volume that i need as quickly as possible and it's not like a gloopy kind of mess it doesn't get everywhere it's just such a nice product definitely recommend this from ColourPop. next we're talking about the aoa studio sunflower oil cleanser honestly i'm not the biggest fan of this product so this was a fail I did read the reviews. It was so hit or miss for people. Some people really loved it, some people didn't. I feel like this leaves a film on the skin. You throw it on, it's supposed to remove your makeup, which it did a really good job at. However, it just leaves a film on your skin that's so hard to remove. And it's just really annoying and i just did not want to sit there and wash my face over and over until it came off it was just so annoying at the end i just had to grab a paper towel and just kind of like scrub it off because it was just really on there so i don't really recommend this product as of now i'm still going to keep using it obviously but it's just so far i'm not the biggest fan of this if you have any tips or tricks on using this product let me know down below because i do want to use it up um, but I want to see like what's the easiest way to use this because it's just not a fun product to use. Like already removing your makeup is just an annoying process on its own. So just adding something that takes forever to remove from your skin is it's just more annoying. So let me know if you know how to use this product. I read the directions. I did as I said. I read the reviews and everything. But it's so hit or miss. Some people love it. Some people hate it. It's just an interesting product. So definitely let me know down below. But for now, it is a fail for me. Next, we have a setting powder. And this is the Hard Candy Translucent Loose Powder, the Sheer Envy one. And this is from the Dollar Tree. This is such a nice product. I did use it recently in a video. It's a finely milled kind of um, loose powder, which I really enjoy. It just feels really lightweight on the skin. However, if you go over the top with this product, like if you add too much to your skin, it can tend to look really drying. So just be aware of that. But if you add just like a small amount of this product, Product. you don't need a lot of it anyway it does a good job at like mattifying the skin it looks so nice especially if you have um, oily skin I think you're really gonna enjoy this product but don't overdo it because it can tend to look a little overly dry on the skin but for a dollar this is a steal I definitely recommend this product if you're looking for a loose powder at the Dollar Tree this is a really good one and I believe it comes in two other tones um, so definitely keep a lookout for the hard candy loose powders at the Dollar Tree next we have a metamorphosis bronzer so this is in the shade panda they have two other shades in their um, collection and these are so nice I really like the packaging I think it's really cute so let me give you guys a close-up look at that they're always coming out with so many amazing products so there's the shade panda it's just the perfect kind of tone for my skin tone 
and it just blends in really easily really quickly i love the compact i love that it comes with the mirror it's just the perfect shade for my skin and again it comes in two other shades really nice packaging it is just a little bulky um, but i really like the formula on the inside i think they did a really good job with their bronzer so if you're looking for one definitely check out the metamorphosis um, website i do also have a coupon code which is just steph 88 for 15 percent off if you happen to want to use it i don't get any commission off of it but it's so you can save money um definitely check their website out they're coming out with so many amazing products on there um definitely a brand that's underrated and that's so cute they have so many great collections coming out so definitely check out metamorphosis um but their bronzer is a really nice product next we're talking about these these are the color central we have a couple duos we have their bronzer duo we have their blush duo and their highlight duo i say the highlight duo isn't my favorite there's a look at that. I just feel like these shades are a little deep for my skin tone, so I don't really reach for this duo here. But I did want to talk about them all together because they do come in a set. I purchased mine at Burlington, um, and I never really spoke about these again on my channel, but I do use them. This one here is the blush one. I'd say is my favorite one out of the three. It's just such a beautiful color. Well, let me give the blushes a swatch. So there's a look at those. They're just so beautiful, especially when you mix them together. Let me give you guys a swatch of the highlights. There's a look at those highlighters. They're honestly not that impressive. I really like the blush um, duo more. And then we have the bronzer duo as well, which I really love to mix together. Yeah, that shade is a little light. But sometimes the bronzers look really light in the pan, but then when you throw them on, they're really deep, which I find is the situation with this product. Um, I really like the bronzer duo, but I'd say the blush duo is my favorite. But again, these all come in a set, so you can't really pick them up individually. But the Color Central products I really, really recommend, especially if you have a medium kind of skin tone. I feel like these shades will work really, really well for you. The highlights, I say, are like meh. I don't really enjoy them that much, but I still reach for it. I think the packaging is super cute, and I love that you can see the colors through the packaging because you know what you're um, grabbing for so if you see these at burlington i definitely recommend they're really cute and definitely worth it and last but not least we have the beauty creation setting spray I, I find myself always raving about these products but i never mention them in an actual video like reviewing them or whatever the beauty creation setting sprays are so good don't miss out on them they are amazing especially if you have oily skin they do a really good job at mattifying the skin but not making you super dry like it doesn't look dry when you throw it on it's just a perfect setting spray for me and my skin type i love it i love using it for work and they have so many scents to choose from they come in various colors this one here is the tropical setting spray which i say is my favorite i also have the one in rose which is okay i don't really like the smell of that one as much but the formula is the same in all the setting sprays so whichever you choose um they're all good um but the tropical one smells the most amazing i'd say and i just love it i love the smell i love the spray the nozzle it just sprays really nicely as well the mist isn't like super harsh and again smells good it works well and i just really like them for the price i think they're a steal so we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this video today everything that i talked about on the names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget i upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you could stick around that would be amazing i have my insta handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from drugs at a high end so if that interests you go ahead and follow me there and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person and make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.